Green Antiseptic and Listerine Toothpaste present America's favorite family comedy, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here is Ozzy, who plays the part of Ozzy Nelson. And, of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson, and his younger brother, the irrepressible Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. The Nelson's next-door neighbor, Thorny, is played by Don DeFore. Ozzy? Oh, <laughs> kind of startled me there. <laughs> so I see. <laughs> Is that the way they're fixing screen doors these days, by reading old newspapers? The, oh, no, 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 no. I was going to start work on it right now. You mean you haven't started yet? Oh, uh, no, that's not exactly what I mean. What do you mean? Uh, well, yes. Yes what? Uh, yes, I guess that is exactly what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty clever, aren't you? Getting out of helping to move the furniture. Oh, uh, well, I was going to fix the screen door in just a minute. I got reading some of these papers here, and they have some interesting articles in them. For instance, Harriet, did you realize how many people were injured in their own homes last year? No, I have no idea. I'll tell you this much, though. Unless you fix that screen door, they're liable to have one more to add to the report. <laughs> With that hammer. I'm just going to hand it to you. Bruised very easily on top of the head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See that paper? Did you read this article about the new swimming pool they're proposing? No, I didn't. You should read that. They're proposing a big playground public swimming pool over on Hudson Avenue. You know where those vacant lots are? Mm -hmm. Read that. Town has to buy up some property first before they can do any constructing. Just read it. They could only convince enough people that it'd be a wonderful thing. They could probably have it finished by this summer when the kids will need it. Ozzie? Yes. I, are I'm, you listening to me? I'm trying to read this article. <laughs> what do you want to read that for? I just told you what it says. You're really all fired up about this thing, aren't you? Well, I think it's a wonderful thing. As a matter of fact, we had a big discussion about it at the women's club meeting this afternoon. You mean some of the women were opposed to it? Well, yes, you know how it is. There are always some people who are against anything, even before they know what it's all about. Well, maybe they have good reasons. Well, I think they should at least listen to what it's all about. Oh, well, I suppose so. Did you finally give up on the idea? Oh, no, not by any means. Catherine Thornberry and I made a list of all the women at the meeting who opposed it, and we're going to work on them individually. Oh, that sounds like a very ambitious undertaking. Well, it may take a little while, but we're going to see every single person in that little book. There's no reason in the world why those kids shouldn't have that swimming pool. What's this about a swimming pool? Careful, David, it might be a trick. Well, what kind of a trick were you expecting? Well, have you finished moving all the furniture yet? Yes, I'm afraid so. Heck, I was the one who was afraid. Oh, now, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little work. Oh, look who's talking. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe we'd better wait till tomorrow afternoon, David. Wait a minute. What's this uh, wait for what? Oh, we want to start delivering newspapers, Pa. Delivering newspapers? I told you we should have waited. Uh, now, no, wait a minute. Uh, you two guys uh, are figuring on delivering papers? Yes, sir. We should have waited till tomorrow afternoon to ask him, David. Well, uh, when do you propose to start delivering the papers? Tomorrow morning. Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, gee, Pa, we got it all set and everything. What paper is it, David? It's a brand new one. It's only been on a couple of days. Oh, yes, I understand they've done some very good editorials on the new playground and swimming pool. Yeah, it's a neat paper, boy. Do you guys realize how much work there is involved to having a paper route? First of all, you've got to get a whole list of subscribers, you know. Oh, they took care of all that, Pa. What do you mean? They gave us a list of people to deliver to. If we get some extra people, then they give us a bonus. Isn't that swell? Well, it certainly oh. sounds fair. Mom? Yes, dear? What's a bonus? <laughs> well, that means something extra. Yeah, I think they give prizes. Uh, what time in the morning do you guys have to get up to deliver these papers? A man's going to meet us on a corner downtown at 5.30. 5.30? Sure. See, 5.30 is awful early. How do you guys expect to get up by 5.30 in the morning? Heck, I thought the man said 5 o'clock. <laughs> well, evidently, your mother and I don't have much choice. You guys seem to have made all the arrangements. Yeah, we don't mess around, boy. <laughs> Remember now, fellas, this is strictly a business proposition. You fellas have started this job, and I want you to complete it and do a good, thorough job. Oh, sure, Pa. We got a list here and everything. Yeah, look at all those names. See? This is a pretty wrinkled-up old list. You won't even be able to read this. Oh, you can put the names in the little book, dear. I'll help you. 
Yes, that's right. Your mother's absolutely right. If you're going to do a job, do it thoroughly and do it well. Now, come on in the living room. We'll make out a nice, fresh list so you can read it. Ozzy? Uh, yes, dear? Won't work, huh? No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> well, looks like you guys will have to get along without your dear old dad. Don't worry about them, dear. I'll give him a hand. Come on, fellas. Better luck next time, Pop. Uh, <laughs> I finished with the names, Mom. Yeah, the address is too? Yep, see? Oh, that's fine. Look, just draw a line down here now. What for? Well, that's so you can keep track of the money when you collect it. Oh, boy, money. Yeah, but we get a lot, boy. Yeah, the girls will really go after me then. Girls? Sure, I'm not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get some new subscribers. Oh, I'm sure you will, dear. Only trouble, everybody I know already takes a paper. Well, then you should just point out to them some good reason why they should take the paper that you're delivering, too. Don't worry, David. Let me handle that. What are you going to do, put on the pressure? Heck, who needs pressure? I have a very unusual personality. <laughs> I have a feeling you fellows are going to do just fine. Look, why don't you go upstairs to bed now? If you're going to get up at the crack of dawn, you'll need some sleep. Okay, Mom. Wake up, dear. Wake up. I'll, I'll fix the screen door first thing in the morning, Harriet. Come on, dear. Wake up. I've got something to tell you. Oh. Oh. What time is it? One o'clock? No, I'm afraid not. It's five after five. Five after five? Harriet, that's the middle of the night. I know, dear, and we need your help. What's the trouble? Well, David seems to have a cold coming on, and I don't think he should go out in this wet weather. It's taking too much of a chance. Oh, does he feel bad? Well, I don't know. He was coughing and sneezing, so I didn't wake him up. Oh. Well, Ricky can handle the job, okay? He's a big boy. Oh, dear. Look, you know, Ricky. When David gets a cold, Ricky gets one, too. He's got the sniffles, too? Well, no, but I am a little worried about him. Why, why what's the matter with him? Well, he seems to be sleeping so restlessly. He's still asleep, too? Yes, he was probably so excited last night he couldn't get to sleep. I just didn't have the heart to wake him up. Well, Harriet, this is the boy's responsibility. The papers have to be delivered. I know, dear, and that's where you come in. Where I come in? Or, rather, that's where you go out. Oh, now, wait a minute, Harriet. Oh, come on, just this one morning, dear. Now, don't argue. I've got all your clothes laid out and the coffee's on the stove and your coat's in the hall, the root book's down on the table, and there'll be a nice breakfast waiting for you when you get back. Well, since you seem to have everything all figured out so well, why don't you deliver the papers? Well, I'd like to, dear, but I'm going somewhere else. Where, for goodness sakes? Back to bed. It's still the middle of the night.
Hey. Hey, you. Uh, uh, hey. Wake up, fella. Oh, oh. You Nelson? Yeah. David or Ricky? <laughs> David? No, 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 I'm Ricky. I mean, oh, I'm... Uh, no, I, I'm the, the boy's father. I'm, oh. I'm going to take over the paper route. The boys are sick this morning. Oh, <laughs> nothing serious, I hope. No, 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 just a little sniffles. Oh, yeah. These are the papers I'm supposed to deliver? Yeah, that's right. Gee, I'm sorry I had to wake you up. You, <laughs> you look so peaceful there with your head laid back against the mailbox. Oh, I'm not used to these early morning hours. I know what you mean. It's pretty rough, all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, well, I'll be on my way. <laughs> you got me doing it. Hey, you got your route book? Yeah, I got it right in my back pocket. Here. <sighs> Still pretty groggy, huh? No, I'm wide awake now. Good, good. Uh, thanks a lot. Right, okay, see ya. Take it easy now. Hey, I wonder whose bike that is. Oh, <laughs> for goodness sakes, that's the boys. <laughs> Yes, I am a little punchy yeah. yet. Okay, wake up now. Yeah, I'm not used to getting up so early. I'll see you. Okay. Morning, Dad. We're supposed to be on the job at 5.30. I guess we're kind of late, huh? Kind of late. We'll probably get fired for this. Golly, we haven't even started yet. After all Pop told us, we don't even get up. They probably won't even pay us. Of course we won't get paid. We haven't done any work. Well, what a jip that is. Well, what do you expect? You fellas up? How do you feel? Awful. It's almost 8 o'clock and this is our first day of work. Yeah, and our last, too. Well, you can both stop worrying. Your father took over your paper route this morning. He did? Mm-hmm. Wasn't that nice of him? Oh, gee, good old Pop. How come you didn't wake us up, Mom? Oh, I don't know. You were coughing quite a bit, and Ricky was sort of restless. It was raining outside, too. Matter of fact, it's still raining a little. I don't know. I just didn't have a heart to wake you up. Well, heck, Mom, we ain't made out all right. Yeah, I feel great. Well, you can start on Monday morning. Make sure we get up, Mom. Okay. Can't let Pop do this every day. Well, if he really enjoys it, David. <laughs> no, sir. When I take a job, I like to do it. Big man. <laughs> Boys, you better get up. Your father will be home in a few minutes. Okay, Mom. It sure was nice of Pop to deliver our papers for us, wasn't it? Yeah, it sure was. I wonder if Pop did a good job. Well, I don't see why he shouldn't. Pop's kind of sleepy when he has to get up early. Oh, I'm sure he's done a good job. Come on, boys, get dressed. You know, I might be a newspaper man. And good for you. It sure is well when you start off the first day with the first day off. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, hi, Pop. Oh, dear. Hi. Still raining outside? Oh, it's just about stopped. I think it's going to be a nice day after all. Oh, that's good. Why don't you relax for a minute? Breakfast is almost ready. Oh, that's fine. I'm just about starved. Boy, that early morning air really builds up an appetite. My, aren't your cheeks rosy and red? Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah, your eyes are, too, Pop. Oh. <laughs> I never felt better in my life. Well, you don't know what you're missing until you get up early in the morning. You're missing a lot of sleep, huh, Pop? <laughs> well, no, no, that's not what I mean. There's a certain sparkle and tang in that early morning air. It's really refreshing. How are you boys feeling now? Oh, swell. Oh, that's good. Hi, Pop. Oh, hi, Dave. Gee, I'm sorry we didn't get up in time. Oh. Uh, go. Oh, j just fine, son, just fine. Yeah, that's good. Well, I think it's going to be a nice day after all. Oh, swell. 
Yeah, it's coming down pretty heavy there early this morning. Thanks a lot for delivering the papers for us. Oh, that's all right, Dave. As a matter of fact, I sort of enjoyed it. It's very invigorating. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, the Johnsons have a new dog. Oh, really? Yeah, a pretty big one, too. What kind is he? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't look back to see. <laughs> Anything special you'd like for breakfast, dear? Oh, no, no, no. Anything at all, Harriet. I've built up a tremendous appetite. <laughs> Boy, that early morning air really does things for you. I feel marvelous. Well, you sure didn't get much sleep. Well, David, actually, people get a little too much sleep. You don't need a lot of sleep. That cool, early morning air, that really sweeps away the old cobwebs. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, we'd better mark down our deliveries. What, do we have to do that? Sure, we gotta keep a record. We can do it after breakfast. Oh. Okay. Boy, I sure am hungry. Yeah, me too. Well, that early morning air sure does something to a guy. You were not in the early morning air. You were in bed asleep. Yeah, I know, but my window was open. <laughs> breakfast ready in a minute. Okay, thanks, Mom. Uh, Pop, do you have our route book? Pop? Hey, Pop! Shh, Ricky, let's let him sleep. Come on. Have you boys finished? Yes, yes. ma'am. Should we go in and wake up Pop? Oh, no, let's let him rest for a while. What about our book? Oh, that's right, your list of subscribers. Well, come on, let's see if we can get it out of his pocket without disturbing him. Probably in his coat pocket. Be careful now. Don't wake him up. It's not in here. Not in here either. Well, maybe it's in this pocket. Here, roll him over a little left, David. <coughs> careful now. Boy, sure is heavy. Yeah, I'll say. Oh, it's not in here either. Maybe it's in his pants pocket. Here, lean him forward a little bit. Easy to it, Ricky. Why didn't you hold him, Ricky? I was trying to. <laughs> How about that? He's still asleep. Well, we got the book anyway. You think he's alive? Of course he is, isn't he? He's still breathing. Well, this is strange. This isn't your route book. Well, that looks like my route book over there. It is my route book. What book did Pop have? Get your bicycles, boys. We've got a lot of work and explaining to do. Anybody home? Oz? Hey. Holy mackerel. Oz, come on, wake up. Hey, hey, hey. Mm, oh. <laughs> oh, hi, Thorny. Hi, yourself. How can you sleep all curled up like that? Well, I wasn't sleeping exactly. I was just resting my eyes a little bit. Resting your eyes? You were sound asleep and curled up like a pretzel. You realize it's 11.30? Oh, my golly, you're right. I, I guess I must have dozed off a little. Yeah, you must have. Look, Oz, I came over to ask you about something. Well, go ahead. Well, a little while ago, a newsboy rode by our house on a bicycle. Well, so what? Well, ordinarily nothing, except this newsboy happened to be your wife. <laughs> Yeah. What gives, Oz? Well, I don't know. Of course, it really isn't any of my business, and that's why I'm interested. <laughs> well, what was she doing? Delivering papers. Gee, I wonder if this has anything to do with my little chore this morning. What little chore was that? Well, you see, uh, David and Ricky have a, a paper route now. Well, evidently, Harriet does, too. No, no, no. <laughs> It has nothing to do with it. Uh, I delivered the boys' papers for them this morning. Well, maybe you forgot to make a couple of deliveries. You're pretty punchy, you know, if you have to get up earlier than 9 o'clock. No, no. I, I have the, the root book here, the list that the boys... Oh, here it is, right here. Marked off each name. And... Yeah. Mrs. Alfred Brown, Mrs. George Young, Mrs. Jim Carson... Mrs. Coop Goldschmidt, Mrs. Margaret Brundage, Mrs. Florence Hike, Mrs. David Bender. Say, that list sounds very familiar. Well, yeah, they're all people in the neighborhood. Mrs. Martin Cottrell, Mrs. Anthony Schiffer, Mrs. Gordon Adams. Say, what paper do the boys work for? The Housewife's Journal? <laughs> this is a strange subscription list. There are no men on it. Well, who made the list out? David, I guess. 
Wait a minute. This is in Harriet's handwriting. Wait, that sounds like the list Catherine was working on, too. It... What? Sure. That's the list of women who were opposed to building the new public playground and swimming pool over on Hudson Avenue. Say, that's right. Harriet did mention something about it. Holy smokes, Thorny, I, I used this list in in instead of the list of the boy subscribers. <laughs> no wonder Harriet's out delivering papers. Oz, the more I around you, the more I realize how lucky Catherine is she's married to me. <laughs> well, after all, Thorny, it's a little difficult to get your mind functioning properly at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait a minute. I think I hear Harriet coming. Well, I guess we'll be running along, Oz. I, I did my best. Oz, I know you did. And on my way out, I'll put in a good word for you. See you later. Oh, hi, Bernie. Hi, Harriet. Bernie. Hi, boys. Harriet, that husband of yours really bungled up the job, and I wouldn't spare him if I were you. Oh, <laughs> dear. Oh, uh, hi, Harriet. I see you finally woke up. Yeah, I think it would have been a lot better if I'd stayed in bed. Gee, I, I'm awfully sorry. I want to apologize to you and the boys. Sorry about what, dear? Well... Oh... If you haven't found out about it yet, I'm sure you're not going to tell you. Well, we found out one thing. You're certainly a very clever fellow, dear. Yeah, I'll see. You're pretty smart, Bob. Uh, oh, well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, what have I done? <laughs> you didn't know. Why, delivering the papers to those women was a stroke of genius. After reading that editorial, they all decided I was absolutely right about the new playground. Every one of them is going to vote for it. Oh, gee, that's swell. Not only that, most of them are going to subscribe to the paper. We got 15 new customers. How'd you ever think of that, Pa? Oh, well, you heard your mother. Uh, I'm a very clever fellow. 